Good evening, my delightful things. Welcome back or welcome to the cavern. I hope you all are doing amazing and had a good week. It's finally Friday and we're going to do something a little different. Which is better, the original horror film or the remake? Now, this is purely opinion based, so mine might be a lot different than yours on this and that's okay. It's fine. I'm only covering the movies I've seen both of, the original and the remake, if I've only seen the original and not the remake, or the remake and not the original, I'm leaving those out. Because I can't make a valid opinion of which is better. <laughs> so I'm starting with Poltergeist. And some of you might think I'm going to say the remake is better, but no. The original is by far better than the remake, in my opinion. The cast of the original was far better. And the ghosts I actually liked more than the new ones. So the possessed clown doll in the remake was awful in my opinion and that's because of the CGI. Sometimes CGI ruins a film and you just can't get it back. <laughs> can't recreate the past sometimes. Friday the 13th, I've seen the original a couple times and the remake and I'm gonna have to go with the remake. I'm sorry, I have to go with the remake. I don't like the camera angles or how it's from the perspective of the killer. I understand why they did it, since it's for the big reveal at the end. I still just don't like it. Now, there is a problem with the remake. I will address it. The problem I had with the remake was how Jason kept one of his victims alive. Did not make sense to me. Did not like it. That was a problem. <laughs> Otherwise, it was pretty good. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, uh, I'm going to be the odd one here and say the remake is better. I'm sorry. I've seen the original twice, or actually, I think I've seen it a few times. It never gets any better. I don't like the characters, and in all honesty, they just seem stupid. Why go into the only house that's close by when your friends are missing? You obviously know they went into that house, and they haven't returned for hours. What do you think happened? Just saying. And not even just that. There's some weird stuff inside that house. So why would you stick around? I mean, I wouldn't stick around. I would be gone. <laughs> just saying. Halloween. I'm not a huge fan of Halloween, as many of you know. I'm sorry. I know a lot of people love this movie. Uh, however, the original is by far better than Rob Zombie's. Rob Zombie's version of the film. Um, there is one thing that I do like about the Rob Zombie version. I liked how he gave some backstory to Michael Myers, whereas the original just made him out to be crazy, which is kind of wrong for me. I just don't like that. There needs to be more reason because usually there is a reason. Take all the serial killers. 98% of them had really bad childhoods. Just saying. Jacob's Ladder, I've actually seen both the remake and eventually the original, and I found the original to be much better. I really felt for the main character having a hard time coming back from the war and trying to adjust to his life before he entered the battlefield. And you just saw him break. It was very tragic to watch. In Miniville Horror, I'm not a huge fan of this one either, but the original is much better. No offense to Ryan Reynolds, who is a great actor. He just didn't fit that part for me. It fell apart. Yeah. It, uh, the 1990 miniseries was much better for me. Uh, Tim Curry nailed Pennywise. His version still gives me the creeps to this day every time I see it. Whereas the remake was just too CGI'd and I didn't find the new look scary. Bill Skarsgård wasn't at all scary to me. So it failed. I'm hoping the prequel TV series will be much better, but I don't have high hopes. The Grudge, I actually like both. However, I think Juwan is much better. Uh, Juwan kind of shows parts of the second Grudge film, which made me wonder why the American remake broke it up. Meaning they probably added nonsense that didn't need to be added. Just saying. The Ring, again, I enjoyed both. However, the American remake takes it. Uh, the remake actually scared me the most. However, the story of the original is much better. The Mummy, I'm going to base this on the one with Brendan Fraser since I've never seen the original and I think I need to. <laughs> the one with Tom Cruise I didn't care for. It lacked everything the one with Brendan Fraser had. I will say I did like the female Mummy though. 
I thought she was badass, but still couldn't replace Emotep. One Miss Cole is one that some people really don't like, others really like it. Uh, for me, both have problems. Um, I do like both of them, even though they both have problems, like I said. The remake is better because at least all the creepy elements were explained, whereas in the original it seemed like the elements were just there for the sake of creepiness instead of a reason behind it. The ending of the remake was lackluster compared to the original though, so I'm going to call this one a tie. Pulse, I finally watched the original and I'm going to have to give this one to the original. The American remake was awful in comparison. I thought the original was by far a better story and had much better characters. I strongly recommend the original. Really do. Shudder, I, I enjoyed both of them. However, I found the original more terrifying. It also was more heartbreaking because of the acting. The acting of the remake seemed forced and kind of lacking. The story is the same, but you could see the regret in the main character's facial expressions towards the end of the film. And it kind of made you feel for him. Um, that he, you know, made a mistake. He didn't know what to do in that situation. Whereas in the American version, he was just an asshole. I can't even say anything nicer. <laughs> can't use a nicer word for this guy. He was such a jerk. <laughs> The Omen, I'm not a fan of this movie at all, regardless of remake or original. However, I'm going with the original on this one. It was more creepy in the child actor and it was by far unnerving. I did not like that kid. <laughs> the facial expressions on him was so freaking creepy. So much better than the remake. The Invisible Man, I don't really consider this one a remake. And it's because the story is far different. However, I like both of them. And it's not easy to compare the two because of how different they are. Uh, so at first I didn't even know this was a remake because the whole man is totally different in my opinion, but apparently they're very similar. Uh, I found the hollow man interesting in terms of the science used and the technology of the times. So I thought it was pretty cool. But I do like The Invisible Man more than The Hollow Man. Child's Play, I hated the remake. And I'm not a huge fan of this franchise either. I find Chucky funny, not scary, uh, which I've stated before. However, the original is more comedic than the remake. I was honestly disappointed because Mark Hamill played the voice of Chucky in the remake, but the plot was terrible. I mean, it was an interesting concept, but it kind of fell apart by the middle. So I I haven't seen the other like TV shows and things. I let me know if I should watch the other child's play movies. I've seen the first, second, and I've seen The Bride of Chucky, which is my favorite. But that's pretty much it. I never watched any of the others. Uh moving on to a vampire movie, Bright Night. I actually enjoyed both versions of Fright Night, but I prefer the original. It's much better. I did like the cast of the remake, though. The Vampire Hunter was hilarious, and I actually was laughing through some of it because he was just... You knew he was a fake. <laughs> the Haunting, uh, I find the 1963 version much better than the 1999 version. Even though I do like them both. But what makes the original better is the CGI, or lack thereof. The CGI of the 1999 version was awful. It looked like a mess. The Haunting of Hill House I liked up until the ending of the show. It just lacked all the lead-up. Aspects were creepy and settling, but then the ending just... Wow, that's what you give me? That That's what you give me. Okay. It was disappointing. I know people loved it, I just did not like the ending. The Uninvited I didn't know was a remake until I saw the original. While I was watching, I kept having this feeling of deja vu, like I've seen it before, but I knew I didn't. The story is very similar, except the stepmother is a real piece of work. She's terrible to the daughters, and I can't really say which one I like more, since the stories are very similar. 
but I think I'm gonna give it to the original because the stepmother was awful and you didn't like her at all. Whereas the remake, she seemed like she was trying to help the daughter feel at home. You didn't think she was this horrible person until I think halfway through the film. Dawn of the Dead, I like both the remake and the original. However, I think the makeup of the remake is much better. But the story of the original is by far just more interesting and than a mall. I mean, really. So I'm going to give this one a tie because both are decent and there's flaws with both. But the original kind of has a little bit more. But I'm just going to give it a tie. Uh, Flatliners, I think the original was better. The CGI ruined the remake and the characters I just didn't like. <laughs> I don't like any of them. The original also didn't move as fast as the remake did. Things didn't just speed through, kind of. My other one that's on here is House on Haunted Hill. Um, I've actually seen the original with Vincent Price a long time ago. And I saw the remake, and the remake was terrible in my opinion. The plot and characters, just no. Vincent Price is amazing. <laughs> so, the original is better. My final one is Nosferatu. Um, as some of you know, I finally watched the 1979 version. I actually didn't know about it until one of my followers, so. I'm going to give this one to the remake. The silent film was boring for me. I hate to say that. <laughs> Whereas the 1979 version was just so much better. The cast, the story, pretty much everything about it was just much better. Unfortunately, this is my list of remake versus original because the other horror films, I've either only seen the remake or the original, not both. For instance, The Crazies, Prom Night, Suspiria, Mirrors, House of Wax, and so on, I've only seen the remake. And since I've only re seen the remake, I can't make an assumption of whether it's better or worse than the original. And other films, I've only seen the original, not the remake, like Carrie, Psycho, A Nightmare on Elm Street, or Night of the Living Dead. So, again, I can't make an opinion on whether the remake is better or not. If I see the remake or the original of the films I've seen, I'll do another original versus remake video. Let me know what you think and if you agree or disagree with my thoughts on each film. If you think I need to see the original or remake of a film, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and sticking around to the end. Tuesday, I'm returning to Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Let's see if we can finish the side quest of chapter four. And move on. <laughs> I wish this game was going faster, to be honest, but. Have a wonderful weekend. Take care until next time, and I will see you all later.